Okay, number one. First thing I want to identify is my y-intercept. My y-intercept, if I'm looking at this one, is going to be what, Soli? Um, negative 3. Negative 3. So I'm definitely putting a point down at negative 3. Once I get my point at negative 3, um, I know that my slope, Jordan, is what? Uh, two. 2, which actually means it is 2 over 1. one. So from that point, I'm going to go up 2 and over 1, right? Up 2 and over 1. It's slanting up to the right as I'm looking at that. And as I look at my graph then, I want to draw a nice straight line. And I want to put arrows on that. Okay, so as I'm looking at that one. As I take a look at number two, as I'm going down at number two. In number two, uh, I want to start us out. Um, Stacey, what am I going to be starting at? The y-intercept is 2, so we're going to start where? Uh, up 2 to the right 2. Uh, up. up 2. So on the y at positive 2. Next thing, if I'm looking at it, what am I going to be doing for my slope? Negative 1 third x. Negative 1 third. Now, x isn't part of the slope, just negative 1 third is our slope if I was only asking for that. But that's telling me to do what from this point? Down 1 and over what? Three. Over 3 to the right, right? And it's definitely going down to the right. I could put another point going up 1 and back 3 and be very accurate with your rulers and drawing that, right? Number 2 is standard, or number 3 is standard form. I could rewrite it, but I might not want to rewrite. I might want to be thinking when the equation is in standard form, what is my y-intercept? And what is my x-intercept? So that if I look at an equation, especially if they're uglier ones and they're bigger numbers, I might want to be thinking, oh, if I replace x with 0, I am going to have 2y equals 6, which means y is 3. 0, 3. If I replace y with 0, I am then looking at this equation. And in this equation, I have x equals 6, because I'd have 2 times 0, so 6, 0. So I'm going over to 6, 0, and I'm connecting those two points. Uh, Mrs. Thompson, I did it with slope intercept. That would be okay. 2y equals negative x plus 6. Divide everything by 2. I'm going to have y equals a negative one-half x plus three. Three down one over two down. Same thing, right? So it doesn't matter which way, but if you get to the final and you're taking the test, this one, this is still nice, easy numbers, right? They divide easily by six, so I could rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So if we are looking at that one, as you look at it, Claire, how do you want to do it? Slope-intercept, rewrite it, or... X and Y intercept for number four. Uh, slope intercept. So we would subtract 3X from both sides, right? We have negative 6Y equals negative 3X plus 18. That's what you have to do. Divide by negative 6. So when we divide everything by negative 6, I'm going to have y equals, it's now a positive one-half x, minus 3. Does that sound right? Okay, so if I'm going to be graphing this, tell me where am I starting, Andy? Um, 3 y. And negative 3 or positive 3? Positive. Wait, wait, wait. 18 divided by negative 6. Yeah, I should be way down at negative 3, okay? Again, if I would replace, if I think of this, if I replace the x with 0, I have negative 6y equals 18. That is going to be a negative 3, okay? Then, using our slope, Andy, I'm going to do what? Uh, negative 6, um, the y. Six on the x. So did you do x and y intercept? Or did you rewrite it like we did here? You did what? I just 
the x and y intercepts. I agree. This would be at 6, 0 if we did the x and y intercepts. So we could have gotten the answer. I also could have gone up 1 and over 2, up 1 and over 2, up 1 and over 2, as I was doing that each time. That would have got me exactly on that point also. Okay? So the next page, you are looking at writing the equations. So if we are writing them, I'm going to give you a minute to just take for an equation. Um, y equals negative x plus one. Negative x plus one. That's where it gets more stuff, right? Down, oh, that doesn't quite go down one and over one. It's like not quite. So I can't have negative x. How far are you going down until they meet up? Like at this point right here, I would say. So if it is off like that, I'm going to mark that wrong, right? So because it's not exactly down one, but what would you tell me? Negative. I'd go with negative three fourths x plus one. Okay, is that making sense? Okay, as we are looking at that one. All right, as we keep going, um, what do you think, Olivia, for six? X equals one. Remember, vertical lines, no unfine slope as we are looking. Number seven, as we are looking at that one, what are you going to have for that one as we look, Grace? Number seven. Mm -hmm. Y equals negative one third plus plus one third minus. Could someone else just have minus one back here? Yeah. I'm looking at negative one, down one, over five, definitely. I couldn't really tell from there, but negative one fifth, because we are looking. Nathan, you ready for number eight? Yeah. Um, y equals three x minus one. Three x, I agree, three x. Minus one. Okay. So each one is your look. So we found a mistake. Make sure you have negative one fourth x instead of negative one fifth. And we are looking at number nine. So we're going to number nine. Ready to start over here again? So are you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Number nine. Y equals one half x minus three. Yes. I'm looking at number 10. Are you ready, Jordan? Yes. Um, y equals 0 plus 1x. Ah, yes. 1x plus 0. Could someone else have y equals just x? Yes. Could you have 1x or just x? Any of those would work. If I look at number 11, tell us what do you have. Uh, y equals 1. Yes. Horizontal line, zero slope. As I look at number 12, the way I said, yeah. Y equals negative x plus zero. Yeah. 13, if we are looking at that one. That's the one where our y intercept isn't as nice, but our slope, if we are looking at it, is looking at being, as we look at that one, what would you say for our slope? As you are looking at that one, Sarah. Um, number 13. And again, I wouldn't go from that starting point. I'd go from negative 1, negative 1, up to this 1, 2. Mm -hmm. 3 over 2x. Mm -hmm. Plus, and it looks like it's a positive. Would you use point slope form, or would you... Just kind of guess where you think it's at. Guess. So sometimes a guess might be okay in this case. And we guess it to be maybe what? 0.5 or a half. Okay. But could we also look at this and say, you know what? I'm going to go with point slope form. And point slope form is y equals, I get that slope, 3 over 2, x minus, and I use this point, which is located at 1 comma 2. Because I'm on the final and I want to make sure I get it right. I don't want to guess. And if it's a half and it's really 0.4 or 0.3 or something like that, I want to be sure. So I go with x minus 1 comma plus 2. When I multiply this out, I get y equals 
three halves, x, that stays the same. That's going to be a minus three halves. And this would be, instead of three halves, it would be four over two, right? So if you think of two as being a, um, with a denominator of two, we multiply. And that does give us this answer. So you were correct. But making sure points flow, you could have even just stopped here, right? Because it doesn't say you have to write it in slope-intercept form. It just says write an equation for a line. So point slope is always kind of a nice way to go when you're looking at that, right? 14, last one that we are looking at. You got it, Carol? Well, I have a question. Okay. So um, when, when you have the equation, you're so as we are looking at the next problem, um, standard form, point slope, what are you using? Give me your equation. 3.9 p plus 0.85. Point eight five t. So that's a, that's not really a full equation. So the price of ice cream. Write an equation that models the situation. So if we're thinking about that. Here's what I would say. This is actually going to be slope-intercept, where this is how much you are paying for the ice cream, and then it depends on how many toppings, right? So we might say our cost or our price, P, what if you use Y? I would take Y, like Y in a slope intercept form, and you're paying $3.95 for the ice cream plus each topping, so 0.85 T. So P equals the ice cream plus the topping. So if someone has 10 toppings on theirs, right, they're going to take 85 cents times 10. Someone has one topping, that's going to be the price. Could you have done it with 0.85x plus 3.95 written in slope intercept form? I would take it that way too. Does that make sense to everyone? So when you're looking at that one, yes, Carol? So we can do y is equal to 0.85t plus yeah. 3.95t. No p with this one. The p is the price you're paying. So it has to be P equals, P is like the same as your Y. Oh. The T, so if she would have just told me P equals 3.95 plus 0.85 T, that's the equation, okay? It's the price that you're paying, the ice cream plus each topic, slope intercept, rate of change that you are looking at. Thank you. Okay, yep. So as we look at number 16, 16 is probably even a little more basic, right? As we are looking at 16, I don't know, what are you thinking, Sarah? Yeah, 7.25m. Could someone have said y equals 7.25x for that? I probably would take that also, right? Just that basic rate of change as I'm looking at. Claire, you want to give us 17? You want to start us out with it, what I'm going to put down first? Um, I yeah, we don't have to go to point slope form, right? They give us the 0, negative 2. That is the y-intercept. And if we have the slope and you have the y-intercept, you're like done writing it. Don't go point slope form. I mean, you could have, but this is much easier as we are looking at it, right? All right, Grace, how about number 18? Y equals negative 2 and then like a parenthesis. Yep. And then X minus 2 parenthesis plus 1. Yeah. Now it does to simplify that one, right? So this time we do have to change from that point slope form. We're going to use our distributive property. If we are looking at that, we would have had y equals negative 2x plus 4 plus 1. So, Olivia, my final answer should be what? Um, y 
way you do as desires. And if you don't think that works, right? If you plug in 2 for x, 2 times negative 2 plus 5 gives us 1. And it checks for this point, right? So you can always replace the x and y with the number here, and it should make it equal. So almost all equations, we can check them to see that it works. Now, as we start 19, what do I have to do first as I look at 19? Nathan, you want to start us off? What's the first thing I have to find? Find the slope. Find the slope. Tell me how. Yep, the change in y, change in x, so 5 minus 3 over... Yep. So I get 2 over negative 1, so my fault is negative 2. Okay. So are you ready to continue for us? Which point do you want to use? Um, uh, uh, one, 5. So it's y equals... You can start with point both, right? Yeah. So negative 2. Minus one, mm -hmm. and then plus five. Plus five. If one of them, remember, if the x would have been negative, then it would have been x plus that, right? So if this happened to be a negative one, it's always minus the x coordinate. So now we're distributing. So y is equal to negative two x. Negative two times negative one is a plus three, plus five. So if I'm writing my final answer for that one, no, well, not three. 2, right? I was going to say this is 2. It's not 2 plus 1, it's 2 times 1. This is a long break, right? So, as we look at that, Jordan, you want to tell us what you got for an answer? Y equals? Alright, so if I have negative 2x and then I have these two together, I'm going to have what? Plus 7, that sound right? Okay. Now, this one, same thing. So I'm going to let you guys do number 20, and we are going to take a look at, and the answers are in the back as you take a look, but 21 to 24 is kind of what we were just doing with unit D. Okay? So the 21 is in 12-intercept form, 22 is in 12-intercept form. Um, those two are not shading. 23 and 24 are shading. The second equation here, you might want to rewrite. So I'm going to give you nice right away because I see this is their common point, and I don't really need to get. So my solution is zero, negative four. Don't forget those parentheses around, right? Now this one, they are really trying to tell you the point. What point are they trying to tell us? Six four with a slope of 1. This one starts at 10 with a slope of negative 2, right? So if I go to 6, 4, that's my point as I'm taking a look at that, okay? Slope of 1 that I'm looking at. So 